what is parenting what is parenting to my understanding i can say parenting is uh, is bringing forth giving birth you can parent anything to bring forth something or something to manifest through you that is what parenting is and uh, parenting many people fail to understand what parenting really means or or what parenting really is number one, parenting is not control parenting is not controlling children you can never control your children you can only advise them you can never control them you can only advise them this is what happens when souls reincarnate in this planet as babies this is what their main aim is the main aim of souls to come to this experience is to find happiness each soul comes here to find happiness so when children have come afresh when they are fresh reincarnates they come in here to seek happiness and the only way they could get happiness from humanity to whom they have reincarnated to be with them is through finding a friend they reincarnate here to find happiness and they they come here to find that happiness through finding friends in all humans so children children or kids when they come they come here to seek for friendship they have not come here to seek for controllers manipulators they have they are not here to seek parents no one came in this planet to seek parents no one wants parents if people came here to seek parents then after you after being born people will be seeking for m- many more parents to have many parents to be rich of with parents children don't come to seek parents here they they come here to seek happiness and happiness you can only find happiness in humanity you can only find happiness through a friend someone who is a friend someone who is a friend is through whom you can be happy find happiness you can find you can even be happy when you are with them so kids have come here to seek friendship to seek friends so that they can be happy they did not reincarnate here to to seek parents to seek controllers no one can control their kids you can only advise your kids and this is what happens when a kid is born this is our parenting how it goes when a kid is born when it's an infant it is always close to its parent always in the hands of the parents when it starts to it starts to crawl around it starts finding happiness somewhere else 
because now they have been born here they found a parent when they're starting to crawl they will always be crawling away from the parent all the moments they want to crawl touch here because they are seeking happiness somewhere else because they never find it in the parent and when it reaches three years old or five years old it goes out guess what it, it will be doing it will be playing with its friends it is seeking happiness if the happiness was in the parent kids will not be playing with them will will not be play, going find friend friends to find happiness outside when they reach nine years ten years they go when they go out they even forget that they were to come back home for lunch they are very happy with their friends finding happiness then they come in the evening when they reach 13 years old you can tell them nothing when they leave in the morning they come in the evening they don't want to eat they just go inside to their room they found happiness outside there's no happiness and friendship from their parents they found happiness from their friends outside when they reach 18 years old let me tell you one thing they run away from the parents maybe 1822 there they run away from their parents because there is no happiness then they go marry their friend who makes them happy because what we are we are parents but we are not friends children once and they are seeking for friendship they are seeking for friendship not a parent no one no one who has a parent has ever wanted other parents to have a godown full of parents no one parenting is not control it is to be you to be friends with your kids this is what happens when your kid has a problem let me tell you one thing if your kid has a problem the first people who will know is their friends when your daughter is impregnated the first people to know is their friends When your son impregnates somebody else's daughter the first people to know is their friends If they have any problem the first people to know is their own friends even if they have personal problems the first people to know is their own friends parents will just come to know later friends first children are here to seek happiness all souls are here to seek happiness and through all humanity it can only be found through friendship parenting is control control does not work you cannot control anything outside here anything which is already manifested it is that and it has to be experienced as that you cannot control anything outside here first control yourself because as much as we are we will always tell our kids hey don't don't listen to your friends they have bad behaviors they are going to spoil you don't listen to them let me tell you one thing the only people our children can listen to are their friends because they know that we as their parents ourselves we are not honest we are not honest 
with ourselves. It is one thing we are telling them to be and it is another thing we ourselves are. We are not honest with ourselves. They can't. When The more you're telling them not to listen to their friends, the more they're listening to their friends because they know their parents themselves, they are not honest with themselves. Kids want friends. If you are a parent, you are supposed to be a leader. You are supposed to lead by example. By becoming that which you want your kids to become. Only. There is no shortcut. There is no control. You cannot control your kids. You cannot even... And many parents will think that they can... Like they can cement a spiritual destiny of their kids. They want to teach, they're teaching their kids the ways of God. You cannot teach your kids any ways of God. There is a reason when, there is a reason why your own Jesus said, the kingdom of God is like the little ones. It's like the, like the little children. There was a reason. There are no ways of God you can teach them. You can only teach them morals because morals are traditions. You can never teach them the ways of God. When it is said that the, the kingdom of God is like the little children, it means that the little children have wisdom than we have, than we parents have. They have wisdom. That's why they can forgive and forget. One minute you are crawling, baby, you spank it, it's cursed. The next minute it's laughing with you. It has forgotten. They have wisdom. They are not dumb. You cannot choose their spiritual destiny. You cannot. That's why someone was a Muslim, was born a Muslim. Now they died a Christian. He was born a Christian. He, he died an atheist. He, you can never choose. The path which your a soul goes spiritual, you can only advise and guide. Only advise and guide. And if your advice is not taken, don't get worked up. It is not worth it. Because our advice is not what we as parents we are by ourselves, are we pure in heart? That is what parenting should be. It should be friendship first. The true parenting should be, it should be within the space of friendship. When you are friends with your kids, the first thing they have the top secret they have, the first person they are going to tell, it is you. That is who we are to be.